Welcome to the Talking Falls Network. My name is Boogie Bentley. Transfer portal season continues to roll on. We're a couple of weeks into this thing. We're talking about where the interest is at. We had a couple of guys leave Tennessee and enter the portal, but just recently talking about two offensive linemen that were on campus in the portal. Tennessee had some serious interest. One of those guys, Andres Carrick, has made it official. He is committed to Tennessee via his Instagram page. This is a guy that kind of keeps things close to the vest, kind of a strange deal. Uh, Brent Hubbs at VolQuest, kind of covering the recruitment over you know the end of last week when he was in Knoxville for a visit. He wouldn't even tell Brent Hubbs where he was visiting, where he was going. He said he was going to visit four schools. Tennessee was one of those. He didn't say where it was at, didn't give a time frame. That's why this thing kind of coming out quickly here, not seeing a whole lot of coverage on it. But Andres Carrick, again, has made it official. The big offensive tackle out of Texas, 6'5", 306 pounds. He's got plenty of eligibility left. Tennessee's going to have some time to develop him. He adds depth at a much-needed position. The offensive tackle position, again, a priority for this Tennessee coaching staff. Uh, they've got Jeremiah Crawford. They've got Gerald Mincy. Uh, and they've also got Big Dane Davis. But you're trying to find somebody that can step up and replace Darnell Wright. Can Andres Carrick be that guy? We'll get into it and talk about it. But as always, you guys know what to do. Smash the thumbs up. Smash that little thumbs up just below the video. It's quick, it's free, it's easy, it helps the channel. Uh, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, if you're new to the Talking Balls Network, welcome. We're not experts, we're not insiders. This channel is 100% for the fans, by the fans. If you like what we do, make sure you subscribe, click that bell for notifications. You won't miss out when we go live or when we drop a video. Going to be live Tuesday night, tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, fan call-in show. Then we're going to be live Wednesday night at 7 p.m., uh, kind of recapping early signing day, which takes place on Wednesday as well. So make sure you tune in for that. But let's jump into it. Let's talk about it. Again, Andres Carrick uh, entered the portal. He's a Texas football player, 6'5", 306-pound offensive lineman. Uh, you can see there he is listed as a sophomore. Uh, he came in in 2020 as a freshman, 2021 as a redshirt freshman, got that COVID year. Uh, so again, typically when we see these guys, the eligibility is confusing as all get out uh, because you never know who gets that extra year, who doesn't. Uh, but I think that uh, Andres Carrick does have plenty of time left to develop. Probably got a couple of years. Can Glenn Ellerby get him on campus? He's got that big frame, 6'5", 306. Uh, coming out of high school, he was a four-star prospect. Uh, he was ranked as the number 26th offensive tackle in the country, according to 247 Sports, uh, ranked 364th nationally. So, again, a big-time prospect, goes into Texas, enters the portal, kind of keeps things quiet, don't really know where he went, who he was with, who he was talking to, and now he makes it official via Instagram that he is going to be a Tennessee volunteer. And I'm, I'm excited about this one. We'll take a look at his scouting report coming out of high school. Uh, this is from Gabe Brooks. It says, somewhat lean, athletic, offensive lineman with tackle experience. Uh, it says, whose lack of length may force him inside long term. And that's you know a question. Will Tennessee use him as a true offensive tackle? Uh, he's developed as a tackle at Texas. It says here he's quick-footed and aggressive, plays very hard with a mean streak that even shows in practices. Can't, you can't teach that. You can't teach that. You need some dogs. You need some dogs in the trenches. Says he has faced great competition relative to high school level. Gets to the second level with release, well, with relative ease when required. Shows athleticism to mirror edge speed and pass protection. Lacks ideal wingspan for a true tackle. Can improve hand placement consistency. Uh, must continue to add bulk and strength to maximize frame. Motor runs very high, but added punch power will help block finishing ability. Tackle experience with interior long-term physical tools that project to high major level and possibly NFL draft. Now, coming out of high school, uh, he was listed as 6'4", 296. So he's added a little bit of weight in the, at the college level. Again, listed at 6'5", 306 pounds. Uh, but this is a big one, man. This is a big-time commitment because, again, we're talking about a position of need. Adding that extra body at the offensive tackle position is huge. Now, can he replace Darnell Wright? I don't know. Those are, those are big shoes to fill. But I look what Glenn Ellerby did with Darnell Wright. The progression he made in two years. And just, just in general, that offensive line across the board, the improvements they've made under Coach Ellerby. And that's, that's what we talk about with player evaluation and true player development. Coaches that are teachers. Coaches that can make you a better player. And I love Darnell Wright's tweet when he said that he was going to you know, head off to the NFL draft and then he wants to come back for one last ride with his brothers in the Orange Bowl. But the, you know, the words that he had to say, 
about Glenn Ellaby and his appreciation for him as a coach and bringing him along, building him up, giving him the tools to go play at the next level. So can can Glenn Ellerby also do that with Andres Carrick? I think he's got the physical tools. Can Glenn Ellerby develop him? But just a big-time commitment today. Again, kind of quiet. All of a sudden, it comes out on Instagram, starts kind of trickling out to Twitter. So I wanted to jump on and make a video. Will Tennessee continue? to pursue the other offensive tackle that they were talking to in the transfer portal. Another guy was on campus this past weekend after Andres Kick kind of left town. Uh, A Johnny Cornelius, Rhode Island offensive tackle, showed up for a visit. Uh, He is scheduled to make his decision. I believe he's got it scheduled on Wednesday as well. Let me double-check my notes here real quick. Uh, Yeah, he actually tweeted out, Rhode Island transfer offensive tackle Johnny Cornelius will announce his college commitment on Wednesday, December the 21st. We will try to keep you guys up to date with that as well. I don't see any reason why Tennessee would not take both of these guys, especially when you talk about the frame of Andres Carrick. Do you maybe slide him into guard? He's a guy that's versatile. You can move him around, do different things with him. Uh, But I think Tennessee is going to continue to pursue Cornelius as well. But we got another one in the boat, boys. This is a big one, position of need. Where does Tennessee go from here? Going to continue to bring you that transfer portal coverage, uh, but I just wanted to get a quick video out with the scouting report on Andres Carrick, who he is, what he brings to the table. Uh, But this is a good commitment. This is a good one. You guys know what to do. Hit the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on the commitment. Do you think they continue down the road? Do you think they look to add another offensive tackle in a Johnny Cornelius, or do you think they look a different direction? We will continue to keep you guys up to date. Appreciate you guys tuning in. You guys, as always, know what to do. Smash the thumbs up on the way out the door. Go check out the official merchandise of the Talking Balls Network. Probably a little bit too late to get something for Christmas, but buy yourself a New Year's Day present. You deserve it. If not New Year's Day, buy yourself something for Valentine's Day. If not Valentine's Day, I don't know. Buy yourself something special at bonfire.com slash store slash talking balls. Also want to send a quick reminder. Thank you to all the members of the channel. Uh, The way you guys support this channel blows my mind. We appreciate that support. Some of you asked how you could financially contribute a little bit more. So we added a couple of more tiers. So you can hit the join button down below. You can see those tiers. If you want to upgrade your membership, you can do that. There's also a watch party tier. I'm making a commitment to you guys. We are going to go live once a month all year long, whether it's July or whether it's the middle of football season. We're going to find a night to go live every single month and it's going to be a watch party. Now, it could be a Tennessee basketball game that's on that week, and we all get on here and we watch it on our TVs and just hang out and talk about it. And you guys that join at that level are going to get the invite to come on and hang out with us, whether it's me, Dauber, Xavier, whoever's on here. You guys are going to be a part of that show if, if you back at that tier. So go check that out uh, again. It may be a basketball game. It may be a baseball game. We may get on here and watch the 98 National Championship game. We will give you guys a a voice, kind of let you decide what you want to do and just run with that. But that's a way we can continue to build those memberships because you guys are what keep this channel afloat. Big time announcement. It's happening. It is happening. Coming soon. I will give you guys more information. That's going to do it for this one. This is the Talking Falls Network. My name is Boogie Bentley. Go Big Orange.